Welcome back. This is one of many of the interviews we are doing right now here in Malaysia. Thanks to the Malaysian branch of the World Philosophical Forum, we are interviewing the authors of the book The Mind of the World Philosophy Day 2019. And this book is a compilation of many papers of well, uh, expertise, uh, ex experts sorry, of different fields and philosophers. And it's really interesting to read this book. One of the authors is here with me, Dr. Nayak. She has written one paper called West versus Islam, Ethics in Science and Technology. So I invite you to read about that and I will, you know, I will, I'm going to ask, him, ask her some questions about this paper that is really interesting. And Dr. Dr. Nagya. Yeah, yes. Welcome and thanks. Okay, thanks for the yeah. Thank you to be here with us. Yes, yeah. Thanks yeah. for the invitations. No, thank you to you for you to come. And just to start, because this is a, a topic that I think everybody knows, everybody have er heard of since he's a child, but nobody master or a few people master. But it's, it's really important. So, what is exactly ethic? Mm, ethic actually from the Greek words, and then uh, from the root word is ethos. It means character. Mm -hmm. um, but um, when I wrote this uh, uh, this article, this, I'm more focused on the from Islamic perspective that we look at uh, ethic from Islamic perspective. It means about akhlaq from the Arabic word, it means the, uh, the, the science of morality. Uh, it means what from, me, uh, from inside you, the character from yourself, from, from you. Uh, everybody, everyone has it, uh, the character. And then how it shown based on the deeds, based on uh, the, how they spoke, how they speak, or how they do. That's the, we can sh sh know the ethic of somebody. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. Uh, then there's uh, how then uh, from is the from Islamic perspective, there's Imam Ghazali says that al-akhlaq or ethic, the good ethics, it come out automatically from, it's just spontaneously. Uh, you do it spontaneously. It's called ethic. It means akhlaq. It's been automatic from you. Uh, for example, when someone, uh, yeah, fall down, and automatically you will go to help. It means you have the ethic in you. And then someone, uh, you saw rubbish, for example, the Japanese, when they saw rubbish on the street, automatically they will pick it and then put it in the rubbish bin. This means ethic, something from yourself. From inside. Uh, from inside. Your principles, we can say, yeah, right? Yeah. Because principles, principles address our attitude, address our activities, our, our the way we act. Yeah, the way right? we act, yes. No, great. Now, you say in your article that modern Muslims lack creativity, novelty, and reflective thinking. But you also said that Islamic traditions had contributed to the enrich enrichment of science and technology of the Muslim scholars, and it had created the greatest Islamic civilization ever known. Yeah. So, how is it possible to be the greatest civilization right now when la lacking of progress? Because that's what I get from this. Yeah, because in the past, during the golden age of Islamic civilization, we practice whatever in uh, uh, we practice whatever in Islam, the Islam is mean in Quran and also the prophetic tradition. We practice it. And then when Allah, when the Allah in Quran says something, and then we try to get what Allah asks, and then we try. We mean Allah asks us to pray, and we try to find how to to know where the qibla. And then we have to use signs. Where's the qibla? Where's the direction to Kaaba? How to know the direction from around the world? They know the direction to Kaaba, and then they use sign. They use all the knowledge they knows, and then how they develop sign technology because they want to. Um, when they want to, what, uh, to be the good servant to God, just like the Maya, uh, the Aztec, and then they want to serve to God. That's why they, they develop their certain technologies, and then uh, they build their, uh, their 
what you call it pyramids, mm -hmm. so that they want to reach God. The same thing to Islam. We want to reach God, we want to serve to God, and then we uh, we develop science and technology. But the problem now, because we um, we have conflict to understand. No, we we have the the Muslim now. They love to have conflicts rather than to practice it. Mm. They keep going uh, argue about uh, who's the best. Who's the, I mean um, the small thing. I mean and then uh, whether we sh we should pray. Uh, is it okay we should uh, pray sit or we should uh, pray uh, standing something like that. They uh, they argue about that something already soft mm. um, between us, because we have so many sects, about um, so many sects, uh, motherhood, uh, but uh, different uh, thoughts of school, mm. and they already soft by the the sects, okay, the the different uh, thought of school already soft, but we keep on argue about it very small thing, and then we forget about practice the and then develop technology and then now uh, we learn from the west science technology and then we uh, but we forgot to put our own islamic ethic in the science technology um, okay, there are two different things so actually uh, when you say civil, the best civilization uh, right now is about the, the ethics about the western science technology do not normally based on a non value they may be uh, because they yeah, because you have to understand the history of science technology during the Renaissance, during the modern time, they have to refuse uh, Christianity so that they can, uh, they, they have to refuse the church, uh, the church teaching because they want to um, uh, develop their science technology. Because at that time, during the yeah, middle time, middle age time, they, uh, the medieval time, um, the church refused science technology. Because they believe that when the Copernicus found out that um, uh, what the, uh, the Earth is about sphere mm, flat, uh, they are not flat. But the church believe the the Earth is flat. Mm. But uh, uh, what you call it? Not Copernicus. I forgot uh, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Galileo. 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 Yeah, he found that the Earth is round. And then you see, then the the church refused. The church refused uh, about this discovery. That's why uh, they have to uh, sideline the religion so that they can develop a sign the technology for Western. But for Muslim, when we take side religion, we fall. So that's, that's, different. That, that's, that's the different. challenge. Yeah, that's the difference. Because actually when we follow Quran Sunnah, we follow Quran and Prophet Lajin, we flourish. But when we sideline Quran and we sideline our religion, we yeah. We uh, get, got getting down and we can be clean, something like that. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's exactly the challenge, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. To keep with your, your religion, yeah. but try to flourish also yeah, in yeah. technology, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So, um, nowadays we have been developing artificial, artificial intelligence. Yeah. So, the, the main question with this technology is how to evolve ethics on these artificial, uh, artificial intelligence systems, oh. robots. So th there are different theories that are really interesting yes. because uh, nowadays you know that computing systems uh, works on the binary yeah. scenario of one and two, but now we can add more numbers so we can construct ethics, ethics in, in a robot, for example, because they are not just a one or two or one of zero or, or yes or no. They they need to comprehend or need to to respond different. So how do you think the ethic should be addressed with this new technology of artificial intelligence? Yeah, when um, this kind of AI artificial intelligence is remind me of the movie by Stephen Sibelberg, AI artificial intelligence. Is uh, around two hours, two and uh, three hours of uh, movies. Uh, how they develop a robot with uh, artificial intelligence, and then uh, that robot try to be human, and then took thousand years to, and then he uh, at the end uh, after thousand years, and then uh, it believed that that movie believed that they became they become yeah a human something like that. But when you see the process of the movie, you can see how many. Uh, robot have been dumped in the dump site 
It shows the ethic of human being. When we don't need the, that thing, we just throw it away. So uh, science technology, uh, artificial intelligence, is, uh, is support a human being, but it's not really a very about, um, main foundation for us. We can use artificial intelligence, but it support our life, it help us, uh, it serve us, but not as our main uh, or pillar in our life. Because we rely on artificial intelligence, it means that we uh, reduce our strength, our our human, uh, Her, human our life. humanity. Yeah, humanity. Yes, correct. Mm. Okay, that's very important. We can uh, don't let the technology rule us. We rule uh, technologies. We must be above them. Okay, because we made them. How can we ask them to uh, rule us? We just like God. God create us, and then that's why God asked us to serve uh, to serve Him. Okay, and now we have to serve technology. It's quite, yeah. It's supposedly they serve us, not them. But uh, at the same time, when we uh, look at artificial intelligence, yeah, there are so many movies about that. Okay, but uh, then they have conflicts whether they can uh, recognize it as a human being or not, something like that, or as part of. Um, a uh, human or a part of men uh, because uh, you know artificial in uh, intelligence is man made okay it's a lack of uh, is, no we are then uh, we are not god we can create artificial everything artificial we cannot create the original one we can get the original one and then uh, uh, memory falls a bit become part of us and we call it innovations we cannot call us. We cannot call us as creative. So you are not uh, proud of this, this advance in science. Yeah, I, yeah, really, I really love it because it's very good now. Because uh, now, uh, not only for robotics something like that, but it's part of our life. For example, the system. For example, that uh, make it our life easier. But we have to make sure that the artificial intelligence uh, benefit us at the same time, follow the ethic of. Ethic of business, ethic of science, something like that. Yeah, and, and that's the the question because we are we are going forward. Uh, forward. Yes, you know, correct. Artificial intelligence is a fact. Yes, it's a reality. Yes, and you know that's what I I would like to understand about the Muslim, the Islam perspective, because uh, the challenge is to develop uh, uh, ethics. Yes, to the artificial intelligence. We accept uh, artificial intelligence. No problem with that. But we use it uh, according to Islamic perspective. We have to make sure that we are not going to use it for the destruction of the uh, the of human. Of for example, yeah, of we are not going to use it for yeah uh, to destroy other businesses. You know, maybe something like that because now the artificial intelligence is also in our system. Uh, um, now we have deep fake. Deep fake is very. Um, a uh, very good uh, for, uh, discovery, but now uh, you, you can see that they use it, the fake, uh, to destroy the politic politicians' uh, yeah, uh, image. Mm, because yeah. they, can, they can use this a person in uh, one place and then they say it's another place. Mm. It's quite uh, dangerous. It's, it's ethic, unethical. Do you think Muslim people are separated from the non-Muslim? Uh, no, we need each other. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, uh, when we reach uh, Islamic civilization, because we get the knowledge from the Chinese, from the Chinese civilization, Indian civilization, also the Western civilization. And uh, that's why, uh, then when we get all this knowledge, and then we make it as, uh, and then we try to, those uh, correct one we accept it, those not uh, mistake, then we modify and then get the, make it better. For example, during Renaissance time, and then Renaissance and the Western uh, translate everything, uh, the knowledge uh, from the, um, uh, the Islamic civilization, because the Islamic civilization, we translated all the Greek and Romans knowledge from uh, Latin to Arabic. And then during the Renaissance time, they have to translate from the Arabic to Latin or English or German, something like that. And then they get 
better knowledge because when we get the uh, the science uh, uh, what the science theory or technology from the west at that time from copernicus from the, they found certain certain mistake in math in science and then the muslim uh, or the uh, muslim scientists make it better and then there's the western get it the best one and now i will turn to get from the west for the best one too we are short of time i would like to ask you yeah. a, a final question it has it is easy to prove that religions have been the source of the main conflicts of yeah. humanity along, along all of these years so but you are trying to make understand that the the ethic that which is really important in a in a muslim perspective is necessary to this develop technology but how is that possible if the ba the basic activity which is the normal um, interaction between human beings is not possible yet how how can we trust that an ethic address from the muslim perspective it would be a good idea to develop technologies that it is the future of humankind okay um Yeah, there are so many lots. Yeah, <laughs> quite a lot. But I will say something quite simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we need a uh, Japo Muslim. We need religion to flourish. We uh, to re uh, to regain our Islamic the our past Islamic civilization, our golden age. Okay, um, but it is because at that time we never refuse that technology. We never we will adapt and make it make sure it's aligned to the Quran and Sunnah, aligned to the holy book, aligned to prophet tradition. We never refuse uh, science technology uh, as long as it uh, it has uh, it it in Quran because the Quran is quite big, quite general. The one the problem now because we tr uh, we tr translate not tr translate we understand Quran um, uh, what you call it. Um, wrong uh, in the what from uh, from because because of our interest because of personal yeah, interest be, not because of uh, human being for, in a, for in a human, selfish yeah, yeah yeah because for example daesh for example isis they understand quran from very shallow very uh, very shallow rigid uh, understanding mm. that's why we have this kind of conflicts otherwise uh, the muslim the arab or the muslim the persian There won't be any conflicts. Mm -hmm. uh, we we will be uh, in the better place. We will yeah, grow uh, science technology because we have that kind of genetic to grow. Because Iraq never never got. For example, how many times Iraq was destroyed uh, during the uh, the Persian times? But always the the Iraqian people, the people in Iraq. They only there. I believe that in one time, in the future, they will, uh, what, they will revive and then be a better solution and something like that. Because as long as they follow, the understand the uh, religion quite, um, yeah, the youth. I mean, I'm They have the in understanding uh, the holy book. You have the ethic. You must have the ethic to understand it. Do not just just translate it and then understand from the surface only. No, mm -hmm. we have to. They have the ethic how to understand the real truth in that holy book, and also from the prophet's tradition. Now the most the most important things now because the Muslim they have their own personal interest. They have their own. Yeah, they want to show that they are the best something, and then they forgot that the real and the real. Um, Uh, and it's the real reason why we are here to serve to God. We must practice as the best human being on earth. Wow. As, a, as a man, as a student, as a daughter, as a wife, something, something like that. I refer to myself. Thank, thank you, you. Dr. Naya. And thank you all. Please keep coming and keep watching the interviews we are doing to the authors of the book, The Mind of the World Philosophic Day sponsored by the Malaysian branch of the World Philosophical Forum. So keep in touch 
Thank you, Dr. Okay. Nayan, okay. okay. thank, thank you, Abang Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot keep my eyes from the, his eyes. Oh. So beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you.